Hello and welcome to Understanding Stroke Critical Care Tips. My name is David Woodruff. I'm the editor of Critical Care Nursing Made Incredibly Easy. I hope to make this incredibly easy for you too. So let's talk about stroke, second leading cause of death and disability worldwide. 10 million new strokes annually. The majority of them are going to be ischemic in nature and patients treated in a stroke unit by an interprofessional team have better outcomes. So let's talk about this a little bit more. Outcomes in stroke units versus non-stroke units. So caring for this patient on a traditional ICU as opposed to maybe a stroke unit is going to have a difference in the outcomes. In fact, we can see that stroke units improve mortality, functional recovery, and return to home. So let's talk about different types of stroke. As I mentioned previously, ischemic type strokes account for about two thirds of our strokes. So the other type of stroke then would be a hemorrhagic stroke. Ischemic strokes, as this diagram here would illustrate, could be from a narrowing of the blood vessels, building up of plaques that comes from atherosclerosis, could be from a clot that is forming or that has mobilized from other parts of the body. If you'd like to know more about different types of stroke, check out our Nursing Emergencies Stroke video. So nursing assessments, obviously if the patient has a stroke, we want to do a comprehensive physical assessment. Neurologic status, vital signs, blood glucose, swallow screen. So we're looking at all of those different components. At the same time, assessing for the possibility of developing complications. Here are a few of the common complications that can result with stroke. So hemorrhagic transformation, cerebral edema, seizures, dysphagia, and infections. So managing these complications will be very important in our stroke patient. We're going to look at managing their fever, their hyperglycemia, swallowing. So these are some of our evidence-based protocols that help us to improve outcomes in patients with stroke. Good oral hygiene, hydration, and nutrition with early mobilization, and of course, venous thromboembolus prophylaxis. Safety concerns include falls. So there's patients at a fall risk. Looking for those pressure ulcers, the patient may not be able to turn in bed like they normally would. They may not be able to get up, etc. So we're looking for those pressure ulcers and pressure injuries, pain, venous thromboembolism. These are all potential safety concerns in our patient who's had a stroke. Stroke units, as I mentioned earlier, have an improvement in the outcomes that we see with our patient. But the stroke unit has this particular makeup that helps to make sure that everybody's on the same page. In other words, we have this coordinated special inpatient unit that has an interprofessional stroke team with a physician, nurse, and rehab specialist all working from day one to improve the care of that stroke patient. Also important is the care transition, transitioning from inpatient care to home or to long-term care for the patient with a stroke injury. So preparing the patient and family, helping them to understand stroke prevention and self-management, schedule follow-up visits before discharge so that we can be sure that that patient is going to have the ability to be able to make it to their, their follow-up visits, reduce readmissions through our transition care model. Secondary stroke prevention, we want to educate our patient and their family on the, the signs and symptoms of stroke and risk Reduction. So here we see all those risk factors of stroke. They're all outlined here. We want to be talking about those things to the patient and the patient's family. So hopefully they can decrease as many of these as possible to try and decrease the possibility of a secondary stroke. The goals of care are to discuss our care options, our outcomes and preferences, initiate palliative care if necessary, and having effective communication about the prognosis of the patient, including discharge planning. So we need to assess what the home support needs would be, providing education on medications, follow-up and resources, and set our rehab goals. So what are the rehab goals going to be for this patient so the patient understands this when they, before they leave the hospital? 
So on all, the specialized nursing care that patients get in a stroke unit, that's going to improve the outcomes that our patients has. If you're not working in a specialized stroke unit, you can at least take some of these concepts back to the care of your stroke patient so that hopefully you can get an improvement in your outcomes too. Preventing complications by using those evidence-based protocols to prevent the complications that we mentioned earlier and successful transitions so that we can be sure that your patient is going to be able to get the follow-up care and going to be able to prevent that secondary stroke. So here's our reference for today's talk. Again, this is Understanding Stroke Critical Care Tips. Thanks for joining me. My name is David Woodruff, and until next time, 